Hey YouTube, this is Fishman Brian here, and I'm going to give you another deck profile video. And today's video is Trevenant Break. Uh, I actually came first place at a League Challenge tournament today with this deck, and this is actually my very first League Challenge I've ever attended, so <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Um, first place, got a pretty cool um, Marowak promo. This is the Marowak from Fates Collide. And as you can see, um, first, second, third, and fourth place finishers um, got their little place right here. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm ever I'm, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it, but we'll see. Uh, I also got four packs. There was only eight people in the tournament. Um, so yeah. That's not too bad. Four packs. Um, at the end of the video, I'll actually open them up and we'll see what I got. So to start things off with the deck profile, I run four Phantoms. Uh, Phantom is pretty awesome because of his attack, Ascension. Basically, you attack with them with one colorless or no energy when the dimension value is on the field. and Basically, you just straight up evolve him into a Trevenant from your deck. So that's really, really good. Alright. And then I run three of the XY Trevenant. This is known as the Forest Curse Trevenant, the one that gives you the item lock ability. As long as this guy is active, uh, your opponent can't play items, but you can. And he has the attack tree slam, which does 60 base to your opponent's active Pokemon. Then you place 20 damage onto two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is like pretty much the MVP of the deck. And then I run one of the Trevenant from Breakpoint. Breakpoint. It has the ability Nervous Seed. And it states, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, the attacks of your opponent's basic Pokemon cards, um, ah, basic Pokemon cost a colorless energy more. Alright, um, most Trevenous decks don't run this at all, and a lot of people disregard this card as being anything good. But the reason why I run one is mainly for the Night March and Vespaquin. But not best, I'm sorry, for the Night March matchup solely. Um, basically, if I go turn two and they go turn one, they're gonna go through majority of their deck anyway and play a majority of their items and set up. So having the item lock isn't really that great whenever they played almost half their items anyway. So having this as your active makes them have to attach two double colorless energies to do anything. Um, so yeah, it comes in handy. I, fortunately today I didn't really have to use this guy. <laughs> um, I, did face a, I did face a Night Marsh guy, but I ended up going turn one, so I used the item lock. So that did it for me, but if I ended up going turn two, I probably would have utilized this guy. So yeah. And then I run three Trevenant Break. Um, he has the attack silent fear and you just put three damage counters on all of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and then I run two Wobbuffet. And this Wobbuffet has the ability by Barricade. And basically what it states is if this guy is active, um, all Pokemon's abilities are shut off except for Psychic Pokemon. And then he has the Attack Psychic Assault. He does 10 plus um, damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So yeah, when you're spreading damage with Trevenant, uh, say most likely, say they have 60 for instance, you'll be attacking for 70 with this guy. So yeah, and he has two retreat, which comes in handy with the Mystery Energy that I run. And then to finish it off with the Pokemon, I run two Shaman. We all know why Shaman's awesome. And then for these trainers, I run whoops. I run 
for Dimension Valley. That's pretty much a staple. I mean, you might be able to get away running three, but I find four to be great, especially going off of the stadium war, you know, in case they're playing four stadiums, you have a fourth to kind of counteract with another deck that runs four. Um, so yeah, really, really handy, especially because it makes your psychic um, Pokemon's attacks one colorless less. So that's really good. And then for my supporters, I run three Professor Sycamore. 2N. As you know, N just got um, reprinted in Face Collide, so it's back in standard format. And then I run 2 Wally, and I'm going to um, slow down the video for a second and explain why Wally is ran. Basically, the whole point of the deck is to make turn 1 Trevenant with an item lock, and Wally basically allows that to happen because you can just search your deck for the card that evolves into the active Pokemon and just place it there on top of them and evolve them. So you put the Phantom out and then as you're active and then you search your deck for the Wally, play the Wally, and then pass. So they're on item lock and you're set up. It's such a good card. It's um, the key supporter in the whole deck. Um, that's why I run two. I think three is too clunky and one's too less. And my last supporter I ran was one Lysander. Just to help with the stall game or just, you know, having to knock out something really quick. You know how good Lysander is. Then for the items, I run four Bursting Balloon. Bursting Balloon is a tool, and whenever your opponent's Pokemon were to do damage to the Pokemon that has this onto it, that Pokemon gets 60. and uh, gets. <laughs> Sorry, get six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, so 60 damage. And then, um, if they didn't attack it, when it goes back to your turn, this thing just fizzles away and then goes to the discard file. Pile, sorry. And then I run four Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail is just to help us consistency. And then I run four. VS Seeker or Versus Seeker, however you're going to pronounce it. I still don't really know the proper way to pronounce it, but yeah, I ran four of these. And then for searching, I ran four Ultra Ball. And then one tech that I run that a lot of players don't run is Battle Compressor. As I explained in my other video, my other deck profile video I put up, Greninja Break, um, I utilize this card as two as well. And basically, the reason why I play this is just to ditch your one of supporters or any cards that you don't find that's going to help you at all in the match. And then I pair this up with VS Seeker to grab the supporters from the discard and put it in your hand. So, what one way I did get turn one. Trevenant lock, item lock today was I ditched the Wally with the Battle Compressor and then I had a, a VS Seeker in hand, grabbed the Wally, and played it. So, yeah, this basically just speeds up the deck a lot and uh, it's just really good. Unfortunately, uh, this card is getting rotated out in the next standard format. But uh, so is the item lock Trevenant, so this deck will be no longer playable in standard, but it still will be a great deck in expanded format. And then I run two level ball, just to search your phantoms. And then for my one ofs, I run one random receiver. This is just used to grab pretty much a Wally turn one, it's another way of grabbing it. And if I end up getting a Wally without this thing, I typically just battle compress it out of my deck because I nine times out of ten I don't need it after that. And I run <clears throat> one switch. One professor's letter. And then my last trainer is one startling megaphone. Just to knock off all of your opponent's tools. Um, mainly this card was put in the last second. It's my hardest matchup 
in my opinion, is the Water Toolbox deck that's getting a lot of popularity nowadays. And they all pretty much run the uh, Fighting Fury Belt, which gives your po opponent's Pokemon, basic Pokemon, plus 40 HP. Uh, since Trevenant and Trevenant Break, their attacks don't do a lot of damage. Uh, any way of stalling, and not stalling, any way of knocking your opponent's HP as low as possible, as fast as possible, is going to help this deck a lot. So, yeah. Um, I won't say that this card was MVP or did it a lot today, but it did help sometimes. But I'm glad I did run it. And then for my energies, I run three mystery energy. I find floor four to be too cloggy. Um, what mystery energy does, if you don't know, you can only attach it to a psychic Pokemon, and then it gives your psychic Pokemon two less retreat costs, which is perfect for Wobbuffet and Phantom because they have two. And then lastly. I run a total of five normal energies, so that's eight energies total with the mystery energy added. So yeah, um, my matchups today were, uh, let's see, Night March, and I won, because I made turn one Trevenant, and then I faced Garchomp, and won, and then I faced water toolbox against my friend John and he actually beat me so I was 2-1 right then and then I faced against Greninja break and then I beat it so yeah uh, those are my matchups um, yeah <laughs> I'm really happy that I won first place uh, Trevenant is probably my favorite deck that I've played so far just because I'm more of a stun player and I like doing the item lock and just sitting back and it's really a perfect deck for a beginner like me because it takes it doesn't really take that much thinking <laughs> which sounds bad on like for me as like a player but I mean to be honest that's a really good thing for a beginner and it just wrecks a whole lot of decks so yeah and then if you want to stick around, I will be opening up these four Fates Collide packs to see what I won. Start off with the Zygarde pack. <clears throat> I believe you do one, two, three, put it at the bottom. There we go. I got one Scorched Earth, Wormadam. Energy Pouch, Jigglypuff, Gothica, Meowth, Snivy, Solasis, a Reverse Amistar, and a Rare Marowak. That's cool. I can go along with this guy. Well, it's a different one, but, you know, we'll see. I might make a video later on. Um, the Amistar is actually really good, too. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it has the ability... It says, once during your turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a restored Pokemon and put it onto your bench. <laughs> so, if, it, if you know about the restored Pokemon, they're actually hard to put out and they're kind of a pain in the ass to play. But Amistar kind of made that deck a little bit better. Alright. That's one pack. Do one, two, three, put it at the bottom. All right, I got Wormadam. Oh, nice. This is the uh, cool pink double colorless energies that they printed. So that'll definitely be going in one of my decks. Braxton, Diglett, Lovatar, Carbink with a safeguard ability. <laughs> this thing is so good. It says, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon EX. This kind of replaced the Suicune. It just got um, rotated out. Uh, <laughs> so it is really really good I've seen um, a lot of people st stall with this card or people who play Whale Lord they run this card too it's really really good 90 HP too for a basic uh, Jigglypuff Ryolu 
Jigglypuff is my reverse hollow, and then another Omastar. <laughs> All right. Now to the third pack. One, two, three. All right. Dome Fossil Kabuto. Shuckle. Last is special. Whismer. Snivy. Finnegan. Jigglypuff. Ryalu. Gothica. And then Lucario. Awesome. I actually love this card. <laughs> Mainly for his fight alone attack. It says if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 60 more damage for each Pokemon fewer you have in play. And it has 30 base on top of that. Really interesting uh, card. I might make a deck with this actually. So subscribe and you might see a deck in the future. Then for our last pack another Zygarde pack. I know the first pack wasn't that great. Let's try to pull an EX or something with this one. That'd be really cool. So one, two, three. All right. One Fairy Garden. Braxian? Or Braxian? I don't know. <laughs> Scorch Earth. Snivy. Diglett. Seal, Finnegan, Carbink again, a oh, Reverse Horse Earth, oh my gosh, <laughs> and a Full Art Team Rocket's Handiwork. That's really cool. Um, it says, flip two coins for each heads, discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. That's really awesome, because I uh, was actually going to play around and build a Weezing Mill deck. So this card actually plays very well with that. So talk about coincidence. That's really cool. I'm glad I pulled a full art or something like an ultra rare <laughs> out of those four packs. So yeah, it's not the best pull, but it's not the worst. So that's awesome. And for that, I will award you guys with one uh, Fates Collide Pokemon TCGO code. Alright, so that's the Trevenant deck. Um, hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Alright, see you guys later.